This week we feel the need. The need for speed. Come on then, show us in, show us in. With a market that's moving quicker than you can say sold. It's not selling like hotcakes, it's selling before the flaming cake is baked. Our property newbies will have to make fast decisions. I don't feel my heart is like 100% in yeah. it. Do we mean we're maybe in this house? No, well, no. <laughs> oh, damn. We've no time to waste. Phil! Phil! Yes? If we've any chance of winning this property race. I think I might have just struck it lucky. Oh, doesn't he look smug and pleased? <laughs> 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 this week, Kirsty and I are doing battle in South London's housing market. I'm coping with Brixton's balmy price rises, on top of which my couple have expectations that are somewhat pie in the sky. It's no better in Croydon, whose popularity is at an all-time high, making it really tough going for my first-time buyer. You sound like a couple of old moaners. I am an old moaner. I'm very, very Actually, long I'd, in the I'd tooth. I'd forgotten about that, yes. It's a good job we're property veterans, as the London housing market's a tough old cookie to crack. Prices are sky high, with the average studio flat here setting you back a whopping 300 grand. And with property prices shooting up by £4,500 a week, it's getting harder and harder for first-time buyers to get on that ladder. Which is why our 20-something house hunters need our help. I'll be with Charlie, who's upping sticks and leaving the family home, to lay down roots of her own in Croydon. And I'm heading to my old stomping ground, Brixton, to find a slice of South London for childhood sweethearts, Cleo and Ben. So we met at school. I was 15, he was 16. 16. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed this girl behind me following me. And <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. And then we just, yeah, we just met quite early on, didn't we? Yeah, I and think within uh, two months of you joining the school, we were an item. So. Yeah, and it just went from, from, yeah, there, from there, really. really. Young love. But now, after seven years together, assistant brand manager Cleo and advertising manager Ben are fed up of flat sharing and are desperate to find a place of their own. Perfect. <laughs> At the moment, we live in Wandsworth in a three-bedroom house, and we mm -hmm. live with two other boys um, who are lovely, um, but it's... Um, messy. They're a bit messy. I oh, know that they're going to hear that. We can't say that. So? We'll be long gone. You better hope so. The pressure's on, Spencer, especially with this couple's wish list. Uh, my dream Brixton flat has to be period house. Um, has to have outdoor space. Our living area and sort of kitchen is quite important, isn't it? Because uh, we want to have loads of friends around, have drinks, uh, dinners, so it's quite important, that space. I'd love a decent-sized bedroom. Um, I've got a lot of things, so have mm, you. Too many. Things. Yeah, too many, yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows London isn't cheap, but unlike many first-time buyers, they have a large deposit in the bank and a £500,000 budget. My dad passed away when I was 17 and um, he uh, left me money um, in order to be able to invest into first property. So I kind of think now's the best time, really, to invest in our future mm. and somewhere where we're really happy with living. My lovebirds have been hunting for a nest of their own for eight months. In Brixton, properties that go on the market on Saturday are often sold by Monday. And with around 100 potential buyers for everyone on sale, we can't afford to hang about. So Brixton is the target zone? Yep. Yes, it is. As an area, I think it's got a great future. It has changed a lot, has improved a lot, and with that, it's got more popular, and, of course, with that, it's become more expensive. We are going to have to talk about compromising mm -hmm. at some point. I, I mean, have you guys discussed where a compromise could be found? I mean, outdoor space is something that we definitely maybe disagree slightly on. Yeah. When I see a property and it doesn't have that outdoor space, I automatically just think, oh, no, it doesn't have that mm. outdoor space. Mm. Mm. Just so long as you're mindful that I'm going to keep prodding you, yeah. have you thought of this? Sure. Have you thought of that? Do we have to have this? Because it's not going to be easy. Yeah. 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 It's a battlefield out there. So we have to, we have to fight hard. Mm -hmm. Come on. Cleo's inheritance means they have a maximum budget of £500,000. They're after two bedrooms, and while Cleo wants a decent-sized living area, Ben's priority is some outside space. Location is key, too. Having considered lots of areas within London, they've now decided their hearts belong to Brixton, and they want to be no further than a ten-minute walk from the tube station. 
A two-bed flat with garden space around here can cost as much as 600 grand. So even with their budget, this is going to be a tall order. While Phil battles in Brixton, I'll be trying to conquer Croydon. A cheaper area of South London, an average property here will cost around 200 grand less than in Brixton. With great transport links and millions being invested in regeneration, it's one of the more affordable pockets of London. Which is good news for graduate consultant Charlie. She still lives with mum and dad, but is ready to spread her wings and buy a home of her own. Some of my friends think I'm mad. Some of my friends are thinking, why are you doing that? Um, it's really young to get a mortgage. I kind of want to prove them wrong, I guess, and try and get on the ladder as soon as possible. I don't really want to rent and pay someone else's mortgage. <laughs> I'd rather pay my own. <laughs> Mum and Dad are helping with the deposit, and with a mortgage sorted in principle, everything's in place. It's just finding the house that's proving problematic. Since I've started looking, I've seen at least one, if not two or three properties every weekend. Location is, is really, I'd say it's very high up on my list of things that are important. I have to be by a train station. The house could be beautiful, but if I can't get to work and I'm struggling with my commute, then I'm just going to feel miserable. You won't let that happen, though, will you, Kirsty? Never fear, Phil. All stops here. There is next to no point in us sitting here discussing anything. Because we should be in the car. Yeah, we should. Because the market <laughs> in Croydon is so fast that while we are sitting here, houses are being sold. I know. You know, it's not selling like hotcakes, it's selling before the flaming cake is baked. No, it's impossible, despite the fact that you're also turning up with open days and there's 50 other people, 100 other people, and you're queuing outside in the rain and it's sort of two in at a time, two in at a time, and you're just in, out, in, out, elbows barging everyone. So, no, it's, it's not good. Right, okie doke, so, uh, two up, two down. Yes, please. 280,000. Is there anything you just love? Just one thing that you think, well, I'm doing all of this, I'm taking it seriously, I'm not necessarily living where all my friends are living, I'd like to have X or Y. I'd say an entertaining space. I like having people over for dinner. Is there anything you can't stomach? Yeah, so the, the front door opening straight into the lounge. Like, not having that kind of just little separation, if it's a porch or a front, like, a, a little wall. Um, yeah. Okie dokie. Well, as I said, we have to get on with it. Sitting here is not going to find you any kind of no. house. So, drink up, and we will head into the bear pit, which is the <laughs> Croydon property market. Don't worry, Charlie. You've got Kirsty Grizzly Allsop on your side. Charlie has a healthy first-timer's budget of £280,000, but could possibly go to £300,000 for the perfect property. She wants a house with two bedrooms so she can rent the second to make the mortgage, and room to entertain is imperative for this social butterfly. As Charlie commutes into the city every day, access to transport links is crucial, making East and South Croydon her preferred areas, and she'd rather avoid heading into less popular West Croydon. Tricky times, but at least we have each other for support. Here she comes in her finery. Look at that. What are you banging on about? Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> nice to see you. How'd you get on? Um, Met her? Yeah, no. On paper, easy. In reality, I think she may have set ideas about area. OK. Well, my couple, I think they're lovely. They're kind of childhood sweethearts, and it's all very romantic and beautiful and they're doing the right thing, but I also think they're being a bit naive about what's achievable. And it's one of those weeks when I just know I'm going to end up disappointing them. Well, you know what, Phil? The sun is shining. And, yes. and in a way, I don't know, I think that may be all that matters. Finding the right flats is the general idea of this job. I think the sun's gone to your head, Kirstels. But for me, it's best foot forward and straight to work, getting Cleo and Ben's search going in Brixton. With its buzzing market and multi-ethnic community, Brixton is booming at the moment, offering an amazing mix of places to eat, drink and socialise. If you're into food, I'd definitely say come to Brixton. It's really lively, it's vibrant, there's always lots of things happening. The potential for Brixton is fantastic all of which make it a very popular place to settle and an expensive one. The average property here has risen by over 75,000 in the last year alone, so there's not a second to spare. The first flat I'm going to show Cleo and Ben is in South Brixton. It's a 20-minute walk to the Tube, but I'm hoping the space it offers will make up for the extra hike. 
So it's a little bit further away from the tube than I, than I think you had in mind. Okay. But given the amount yeah. of buses that go down Brixton Hill, sure. yeah. I thought, I've got to show you this. Yeah. Fairly handsome looking building, I thought. Yeah, yeah. And double fronted as well. Absolutely. Mm. No, it looks lovely. Exactly the sort of thing we had in mind. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go? Positive thinking, Ben. This is, this is great. No signs of disappointment so far, Pip, you old worry wart. Well, I don't think the inside will let them down either, as this newly refurbished flat boasts two bedrooms, a 25-foot living room, brand-new kitchen, and even has that garden Ben desperately desires. One man's garden is another man's patio. Well, that's London for you, and around here, properties with any outdoor space come at a premium. It's on for £550,000, but I know the vendor wants a serious and speedy buyer, so we could make an offer. So the master bedroom is at the front. Lovely and light. Uh -huh. Nice. I think it's a good size. Mm. It is. I'm just size. looking here, though. It looks like the bed will come to, like, here. So it might... Yeah. Just look, it's looking a bit tight. The second bedroom is... Very similar size to mm. this. So as a se the second bedroom yeah. is quite generous for a second. Yeah, that oh, could right. be my dressing room. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> don't, don't add one of those to the list, please. A girl can dream, can she not? There's no time for that in this market. The bedroom may have been a reality check, but the living room, well, it's a first-time buyer's fantasy. And the living room. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Which is a big one, isn't it? Wow. It's really yes. big. This is really big. And it opens through to the kitchen. The kitchen's small, mm. but given you can, mm. you know, you can have a massive dinner party in here. Definitely. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I like the space. That's nice, though. I really like the space. Cleo's now making all the right noises. Oh, oh wow. This is nice. Oh, nice. Uh, it's a really nice size. Yeah, great size. For a first viewing, this is actually going really well. I'm very, very pleased with how they're reacting to it. Don't speak too soon, Phil. I like it, I like it a lot, but I don't feel my heart is, like, 100% in yeah. it. But I think the space in the living room is really good. That is great, isn't it? Great's good, but I need them both to be head over heels for the flat. Well, you better hope the Bijou Garden gets them turning somersaults. Oh, Outdoor space! I know. <laughs> oh. oh, great. How about that? Wow. Particularly for Ben, I know. Yeah, the I know. one that wanted it. Yeah. This is pretty much... Feeling. Spot on what I'm, I'm looking for. <laughs> Give a boy room for a Barbie and he's happy. But what do you think about it as a package, the whole thing? Uh, I think I'm probably preferring it a little bit more than you. Mm. You wanted a slightly bigger bedroom, didn't you? But then mm. it makes up for it because of the uh, living space. Right? Yeah. That mm. is exactly what we're after. Yeah, definitely one to think about. Yeah, that's a good spot yeah, after am. property one. We've got a maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we've got more to see. Yeah. But mm -hmm. we shouldn't hang around. Yeah. yeah. A market this fast doesn't allow time for pondering the maybes. So you're going to have to find them love at first sight, Mr Spencer. Surely not too much to ask. This week I'm searching for Cleo and Ben, who desperately crave a bit of Brixton's boho magic. And I'm tasked with finding a home to call her own for Charlie in Croydon. But competition is fierce and dream homes few. I've already shown my first time as a flat that has space aplenty. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Which is a big one, isn't it? Although Ben seemed impressed, it clearly wasn't the one for Clea. And as they're investing her inheritance, it needs to be just that. And I'm digging deep in Croydon, hoping to unearth the perfect property for Charlie, who's been battling the brutal housing market. You're also turning up with open days, and there's 50 other people, 100 other people. You're just in, out, in, out, elbows barging everyone. So, with no time to waste, we're heading to Addiscombe. It's not an area that Charlie has really considered, but could be a contender, as East Croydon train station is just a mile away. There's also a tram link around the corner and a good parade of local shops. So we'll need to move quickly before this property goes. So, area. Yes. What do you reckon? Addiscombe. It's not on my... It's on the list of slightly no's, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's not on the top of the no list, it's just kind of near the, the bottom of the no list. It's not like a definite no. Hopefully this place is good enough to turn all those no's into one big yes. Well, Charlie said she's after a two up, two down. But as they're in short supply, I want to see whether she's open to the idea of a flat. This one's got two bedrooms and a private garden. 
The current layout doesn't offer the open plan entertaining space that Charlie's after, but there is an easy fix. It is over budget, but Charlie said she'd be willing to stretch to 300,000 for the perfect property, which this could become. Right. Now, in my opinion, Charlie, the developer who did this flat needs uh, his brains brushing. OK. But it's a fantastic square footage. OK. And the reason I wanted you to head straight to this room uh -huh. is because that comes with the flat. Ah, OK. That entire garden. Oh. I think this should be your sitting room. Yeah. I think this should come down, which yeah. is very, very easy, much easier than you might think. OK. Through there is yeah. the kitchen. OK. I think your whole entertaining space should be across the back, into the garden. Yeah. That was my thinking. Yeah. Okay. How does it strike you? I like I do like the garden. The garden is nice. I'm not sure. Yeah, if this is this is supposed to be the master bedroom. Yeah. This is supposed to be the master yeah. bedroom. As I said, developer yeah. needs his brains no. brushing. Yeah. Reconfiguring this flat to give Charlie what she's after would cost around a grand in all, without losing any bedrooms. Ah, but the question is, does Charlie like this flat enough to reach for the sledgehammer? I think this flat has real possibilities and it's very big, but I don't think it's doing it for Charlie. She may have gone in thinking the location wasn't right, but coming out, it's the property that's the problem. Having seen inside the flat, yeah. are you just thinking... I don't think, I don't think it's definite no. There are so many nice points, so many good points, like the front, the, the bay window, the off-street parking, the garden. And then I just feel like as you, the interior has been let down. I think knocking that wall down and creating that kitchen sitting room is a very simple, mm. cheap answer. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it's just getting my head around doing that. Sounds like doing work isn't something Charlie's keen on, Kirsty. But at least I know now a flat could be a possibility. Back up in Brixton, we may be only eight miles north of Croydon, but houses here cost almost double. In Croydon, half a million would bag you a four-bed house, but in Brixton, you're lucky if it stretches to a decent two-bed flat. With that in mind, I've decided to take a bit of a risk and show Cleo and Ben something I think they'll love, but it doesn't come without compromise. Right, we know where we are, don't you? Yes. Poets' Corner. Oh, no. Famous Poets' Corner. And very, very popular. Yeah. This elegant Edwardian area offers pretty leafy streets, excellent local amenities, and is closer to the buzz of Brixton than the last property. It's a Herne Hill postcode. Yeah. But actually, we're only 12 minutes walk to Brixton yeah. Tube. I know, yeah. Brilliant. We're going to look at a flat in this building. It's the lower ground floor flat. Okay. I thought this street would impress, but there's a big bombshell I've yet to drop. And it's pretty explosive. While there is a beautifully presented living area, compact kitchen and bathroom, there is only one bedroom. But I'm confident this stunning 40-foot shared garden will help soften the blow, and it's well under budget at £435,000. It's really sweet. It's really nice and homely. It, it's a beautifully yeah. proportioned room, Yeah. this one. However, there is a silver lining and a cloud with the flat. The silver lining is the price. OK. This is on the market at 435000 So, well in budget. The cloud... Mm. It's one bedroom. Is it's only one bedroom. Ah. OK. Mm. We liked having the thought of having the second bedroom because we could have had friends to stay over, like our family to stay over. Mm. My thinking was this room is big enough that if you had a friends to stay, mm -hmm. you'd have a decent sofa bed mm. in here. Yeah, sofa bed. Mm. Yeah. Um, and at 435, yeah. it's well within budget and maybe that takes a bit of the financial pressure away. Yeah. Mm. You speak a lot of sense, Mr Spencer. And I think there's something here that may make up for this place being a bedroom short. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, God. It's really, really, really nice. Oh, I'm shocked by that. <laughs> it's not bad to come out to in the morning, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely. Oh, so, so many different seating areas. Really can have your pick. Well, it's not all yours, it's shared. Okay. It is an amazing space. It's so big. If you were to be 
considering it. Okay. It came on the market on Saturday and it had an open day with 10 people. Right. They've got three bids on it and they're going to seal bids on Friday. And do we know what those bids are at? No. no. Okay. But it will sell on Friday, so... And do you think it'll go over the...? I do, actually. Yeah. Mm. So, okay. I'm not saying that just to put pressure on you, but yeah. it's a statement of fact. Yeah. It's a ferocious market, with many properties going for well over the asking price. So if Cleo and Ben want this place, they'll need to decide fast. My search for Charlie is heading to South Croydon. It's an area she likes, and it's the two up, two down she's after. It's not even on the market yet, so we'll be first through the door. There is a compromise, though. To get her the house I think she'll like, I've had to bring her to a street that she doesn't. But she did say she wanted to be close to the train. It's a funny street, this, because on one side there's a busy train track, yep. and on the other side there's a quiet train track. Yep. So you really want to be on the side with the quiet train track yep. and the no rain side. No, yes. <laughs> we can't control the weather, but we are on the quieter side of the street and this house has lots going for it. With two good-sized double bedrooms, a light, bright sitting room and a refitted kitchen dining area, plus there's a great landscaped rear garden. It has a guide price of £275,000, just under Charlie's budget of 280. So all of that surely means I'm on the right track. Are you thinking no to this street? You've got to mm, tell me. It's, it's, it's not high. It is on the no list, just because I've seen about five properties on this street. Really? Yeah. And you discounted all of them? Yeah. Were any on this side? Yeah. And it was no, <laughs> no, no? Yeah. Because of this road? Yeah, the road, there was other factors as well, but the road did play a part. So what would you have to find within this house to change your mind? Um, OK, we've walked straight into the land. It's yeah, not a so great that's start. No, not a great start, no. <laughs> um, good socialising space. OK. Yeah. Is that likely in a two up, two down? Mm, no. no. <laughs> and what have the gardens been like of the ones you've seen? Um, mainly messy, very steep. I might still be in with a chance. <laughs> I might. I'm not giving up on this house. Like a dog with a bone. You know me, Phil. Once I get my teeth into something. So here is the kitchen. OK. OK. <laughs> OK, 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 OK. OK. Right, I'm going to take you through to the garden, because okay. obviously the kitchen has not knocked your socks off. I was hoping for better than that. I don't get it. It's a house, which she's asked for, in an area that she's asked for. True, but if she doesn't like it... One last push. Is this is nice. This is nice. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> No, this is nice. It is nice. <laughs> is nice. It is not concrete. No, it is... and it's not really steep like no. some of the others. I really like the garden. Is that a strong point? Do, yeah. we, mean we're, do we mean we're maybeing this house? No, well, no. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, I'm so oh, close. No, no it's no. fine. It's not your fault. <laughs> Listen, it's not your fault. You have got £280,000 to spend. For God's sake, I should be able to find you a house that you want to buy. <sighs> Is it a no, no, no? Yeah. Sorry. No, it's OK. <laughs> OK, I'm willing to admit defeat. But you can't say I didn't give it a jolly good go. True, but as my teacher always used to say, must try harder. My search this week is based in bustling Brixton, where the property market is as fast-paced as the lifestyle it offers. And I'm in up-and-coming Croydon. This London suburb's popularity is making it very difficult for first-time buyers like Charlie. So far, I've shown her a flat that didn't quite make the grade, and then there was a house that was a total flop. Do we mean we're maybeing this house? No, well, no. <laughs> oh, damn. Whereas I'm faring a little better in Brixton with my couple, who are trusting me to help them invest money Cleo inherited from her father into their first home. My curve ball in Poet's Corner hit the spot, but they struggled with it being just a one bed. So for my next property, I'm adding back in the second bedroom and moving even closer to Brixton Tube, which is just over half a mile away. In order to kind of deliver the location, there are some sacrifices with the flat. This doesn't have a garden and needs a bit of imagination. Yep. Okay. 
This first floor flat is a doer upper, but with a bit of hard work, it could be a great home for them. There are two bedrooms and a good sized open plan kitchen living area. It is missing the outside space that Ben's after, but this means it's under budget, just shy of 450 grand. So, up on the first floor, we've got the two bedrooms and we've got some nice period features. You could put a fireplace in. Definitely needs nice. some TLC, doesn't it? You can tell. Yeah. Ben's still got in the back of his mind, but he hasn't got a garden. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm trying to be as open-minded mm. as possible. And let's have a look at those bedrooms as well. Come on. Mm. I like the hallway. Well, that's something, I guess. This flat has plenty of potential, but only if they put the memory of the perfectly presented one bed to the back of their minds. OK. This is a bit annoying. Boiler. Um, um, I don't think I'd like that in my bedroom. No. <laughs> I'm not sort of getting that, that feeling that this is... Mm. This is like the right mm. room for us. Oh dear, Phil, and you can't even escape into the garden because it hasn't got one. It's got a lot more of the kind of period character and features that mm. you were after, and mm. it's that much closer to the to the tube. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So definitely a better bet than the first two bed that we saw. Isn't first it? two bed, hundred percent. But now I'm comparing it to the nice little uh, one bed. Oh, one bed. Oh, yeah. Are you indeed? A the bit. one bed's back in the frame. Yeah. <laughs> Looks we, like it. Yeah. Really pleased that's you're giving that proper thought. Yeah, yeah. I think, and right. I think it. I think we'd need a second viewing as well mm. because I did have such a mind block on yeah. it. I, yeah. You know, as soon as we sat up, found it was one bed. I, mm. In my head, I was like, nope. Then you know, it's not our criteria. Mm. But actually, we've yeah. we've it's sunk in. Yeah, yeah. good. And I think it's, it's definitely the front runner, isn't it? Yeah. Well, who'd have thought they'd fall for a one bed? Me. That's why I showed it to them. But we're not done yet, as I've just had a tip-off about a two-bed that could be a game-changer. Well, after my two-up, two-down adding up to, well, not very much, I've decided that flats are the way forward and I have a great one to show Charlie in West Croydon. It's not as sought after an area as East or South Croydon, but this does mean you get a lot more property for your pound. And with millions being invested into the regeneration of Croydon, this place is a sound investment for the future. But I still worry the location could be a tough sell with Charlie. Pip, I may need your help. The sun is shining, and there is a reason the sun is shining. Really? It's because it's it. I'm here. <laughs> yes! Oh, that is not well what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say is the reason the sun is shining is because we have got an amazing property to show you. I know you are not that into this area. No. <laughs> but it's not just about getting on the ladder. Yeah. It's about getting on the ladder at the right time in the right place. Mm. I don't want you to just throw your money at something. I want something which is a genuine investment for the future, and I found it. OK. Here, it's an opportunity to outperform what, what the wider trend is, simply because of the development that's going on in West Croydon. OK. This three-bed flat has a large reception room, good-sized kitchen, a great garden to the rear and the opportunity to increase its value by extending into the attic. Plus, by compromising a little on location, this place is almost double the size of the house you showed Charlie and costs 35 grand less. Obviously, all of this is in your flat. Right. So it has the real feel of a house. Yeah. Big, nice bathroom with a lovely window, needs a bit of work, yeah. but nothing you can't do yourself. Okay. And coming up, we've got one, two, three bedrooms, oh. a huge sitting room, and an enormous kitchen. Wow, OK. Really, I mean, it's almost... Oh, yeah, it's big. It's big. a phenomenal kitchen. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> it's big. Yeah. And there's a private garden. Oh. So it really, as Kirsten said, it really does feel like a house. Yes. No, it does. Definitely. It's really light. It's got Duh. high ceilings. Um, it's in perfectly good you, nick. You can tell Kirsten quite likes it. <laughs> no, She's quite proud no, no, of finding I mean, this one. No, but I mean, look, it's just... It is, it's I know, nick. but it's not for you. <laughs> I we know, have to... but I know, but the thing is... As a person no, who's considering it. Yes, here. I know. Let's I, find out what she thinks. No, but I'm no, just saying. No, OK. Yeah. Yes. Do you get any kind of feeling off no, it? No, I, no, I... But when I say it's big, I like the space. Like, I do like the entertaining space. And, I, and it's bright, and I do like that. The only kind of niggle at the back of my head is the location. It's like we said outside, is you have to be blown away by the flat. Yes. 
And I think this flat. I know. I, we know what you think. <laughs> I know, but I just... I'm, I'm, Charlie, why I'm, don't you go I'm, I'm see some more? Way, OK. <laughs> you have to calm down. I know it's a I lovely know. flat. No, but it's not about calming down. She doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. Something has got to give with Charlie's search. House prices here are only going up, so she needs to pick what her compromise is going to be and quickly. I think the flat is great and the garden's great. I just think it's getting my head around where it is. Have you seen anything as big as this? No. Have you seen anything as light as this? No. Do you think it's the best value for money that you've seen? Yes. Yes. OK, fine. <laughs> um... yeah. so I'm not saying another word. OK. Good, cos yeah. it's not your decision. <laughs> Enough from you, Pip. It's not your decision either. Right, let's go and explore this jungle, this urban jungle. Back in Brixton with Cleo and Ben, I've one last property to throw into the mix. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I often say house hunting, you make your own luck. You've got to be in the right place at the right time to strike it lucky, and I think I might have just struck it lucky. Hopefully the others will be in here in a minute, because we are the first to see this. And I'm quite pleased. Does it show? Does it ever? And you had the cheek to give me a hard time at my last property. I'd better come along to make sure you don't get too carried away. It's one of your magical mystery tours. It, well, it is. There is a little bit of magic being worked okay. here. Um, we are going to be the very first people to see this flat. So I've worked contacts over lunch. I've just had a little look at it just for a couple of minutes. First of all, where we are, yeah. not only are we on a nice secluded yeah. little access road, yeah. it's quite private. Yeah. yeah. Brixton Hill, just, just there. I know, we're really, really close. We're just saying this. Yeah. Perfect location, close to Herne Hill as well. Yeah. yeah. Nice and little private so road. Nice. It's really, I, I never knew it was here. Come on then, show us in, show us in. <laughs> job, job. I'm going to enjoy this. Job, yeah, she said that. He was going to enjoy it. I can't help being a little overexcited as I think this two bed first floor is perfect for Cleo and Ben. It's got a bright, light living room, a good sized kitchen diner, and with rumoured access to a shared garden, possibly even that outside space thereafter. It's just in budget at £500,000, and I think it's worth every penny. Ooh. Oh, wow. Go on, get in. Come on. Well, I'm, you know, I'm looking slowly. Oh, wow. Very so, wow. It's lovely. I'd say it's the smallest living space we've seen. Mm. However, it's the biggest kitchen. Yeah. And it's right there. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. It's really it's... nice. So, Phil, is it one bed or two bed? It's a two bed. Yay! Okay. Um, and it's on the market at 500,000. OK. OK, bang on. Wow. Bang on, Max. At the very top, yeah. Oh, doesn't he look smug and pleased? <laughs> 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 to be fair, I think I've every right to. Enough said. I love the view down there. I mean, the yeah. views from this flat. Gorgeous. Very, very nice. Mm. Should we go and have a look at the main bedroom? Right. Go on, go on, go on. You've done good, lad. You've gone done good. What do you reckon? Ben? I think she's excited. Do you think so? Mmm. Yeah. Oh. Wow. It's lovely. <laughs> I think this place could be a great long-term bet for Cleo and Ben. When you went to see the one bed and you thought, why do we need a second bed? Mm. You're right. Why mm -hmm. do you need a second bed? Mm. But with stamp duty at 3%, that's taking a huge chunk out of that money that you're so keen to do the right thing with. Yeah, exactly. And when you buy something that you don't have to move from, mm -hmm. whatever happens in your life, yeah. you're securing yourself. Yeah, that was a big reason for having a two-bedroom, just kind of that longevity, five to ten years. Yeah. How is this comparing to the one bed? Um, 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 um... So I need to know whether, whether this place has got a garden, because the one bed had a fabulous garden. Like, stunning. Phil! Where's he gone? Phil! Yes? Uh, this downstairs has the back garden. Does yes. that mean this flat gets that front garden? Um, details are a bit hazy. Could this perfect place have a floor after all, Phil? No, not at all. There's a small front garden, plus off-street parking, and another large garden that could be lovely. But it's so new to the market, how this is all split between the three flats is unclear. 
I mean, the agent hasn't got all the information yet, but some of this is allocated to the first floor flat. We just know, don't know which bits. I think this is a pretty amazing flat. Compared to the other one? Well, the other ones are one bed, so... I know. I think we've got a lot of thinking, thinking to do because we came into the search wanting a two bed and this is a fantastic two bed with some outdoor space and... I haven't seen it yet. Six minutes to Brixton. Uh, lots of thinking. Yeah. Come on. I'm feeling very spoiled that that has just come on at the moment I needed it. So there is some outside space here, not okay. only just outside there, where you can see other people parking their cars. Yep. There is parking for two here. Perfect. And there's a lovely garden there. Okay. Yeah. All I'm being told at the moment is that flat owned has some designated outdoor space. But right now I can't say that's it or that's it. Okay. All we can do is keep in touch with the agent. The moment he knows, so will we. But in this market, we can't afford to just sit and wait. I mean, we've got tomorrow together. Yeah. Does it make sense we go back to the one bed and yeah, we just we spend a bit of time there? I think so. Yeah, we definitely want to go back. I think just that'd be to... beneficial. But, th but this is definitely a serious contender. Yeah, between the two. Well, good. I think we're in a good place. We're in a great place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they are very different, so yeah. tomorrow's going to be a... Interesting day. Interesting yeah. day. Mm. Definitely, we've got a lot of thinking to do. You made Phil a very happy man. <laughs> <laughs> Someone round here has to, Kirsty. Just saying. This week, we've been searching South London for perfect pads for two first-timers. In trendy Brixton, Cleo and Ben unexpectedly fell for a one-bed in Poet's Corner. But a last-minute two-bed first-floor flat that was thrown into the mix and matched their list of wants has left them a little confused. So they've asked to come back to the one bed to take a second look. Gut feel straight away. Oh, it is nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. really, really lovely um, space. It's, it's almost better than I remembered it. Can I suggest just take some time? Imagine your things in the flat, check the storage, check there's sufficient storage mm. for you, and just kind of picture yourself living here. Mm. Yeah. That's what we want to do. Great. Go on. <laughs> well, they are wonderfully confused today. <laughs> um, I'm not surprised either. I haven't got a clue which way they'll go. I think if I was a betting man, I'd hedge my bets. Ever the daredevil, Phil. I mean, although it's a dated kitchen, it's, it's actually in quite good condition, isn't mm. it? While it might not be their dream kitchen, the gorgeous garden could still make this flat odds-on favourite. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? I know. Yeah, it's really great. All right, guys. Hey, yeah. Cool. Love it. I think we've looked at it now, and we're actually we're thinking it's better than we thought, isn't it? Yeah. I do just have to remind you that this has had its open day. Ten people came round. They had three offers, or they've had a few offers, and it's sealed bids tomorrow. What does that mean? <laughs> um, it means there's competition. You would have to fight for it. Let's go and discuss it and, yep. and make, up, make a plan. Let's go. In Croydon, Charlie hasn't really warmed to anything I've shown her. She isn't even convinced about my personal favourite, the fantastic flat in West Croydon. But I've got a plan. I'm taking her back to Property One in Addiscombe. Although she's come around to the area, the amount of work needed to fix the odd layout scared her off. But I've just heard that the upstairs flat has come back on the market. Here we go. It's over 200 square feet bigger and is split over two floors, so has a much better layout. It is more expensive. On it offers in excess of £300,000, which highlights the fact that space around this area of Croydon comes at a premium. But Charlie said she's keen to take a look. So, fantastic, lovely kitchen. Yes. Separate loo, which mm -hmm. is always good. Bedroom three, if you use that as your one reception mm -hmm. room. Bedroom two. OK. And then upstairs, ta-da, oh. la, la palace. Oh, really? Yes. OK. Do you want up, to go and have up, a look? Yeah. Up, 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 up. This flat is over budget, but by renting out two bedrooms, Charlie could bring in around a grand a month, while still keeping the whole of the top floor to herself. Oh. This is Charlie land. <laughs> It would be really nice up here. Mm. Investment, though. This yeah. is done. Yeah, I know. I know it's done. I know. Right. Charlie has a tough choice on her hands. It's walk-in wow here. This is like every girl's dream. Versus the investment opportunity back in her no-go area of West Croydon. 
is there anything that you want to ask me, anything you want to think about, investigate, anything you want to go back and see for a second time? Um, I think I need to think about the West Croydon flat. I think my heart thinks this is easy. This is safe, this is easy, this is one stop to East Croydon on the tram, you know, off street parking, you know. But then I think my head thinks West Croydon is more sensible. So that's the problem. I'm pleased Charlie appreciates the charm and potential the West Croydon flat offers. But with this one in Addiscombe being so much closer to her preferred area and in mint condition, she has some serious thinking to do. Back in Brixton, Cleo and Ben have been doing some thinking of their own about which flat they want to go for. We were saying it's so interesting because when we came to you with our criteria, that final yeah. two bed that you showed us yesterday ticked all of the boxes. If we didn't see that one bed, we'd have been like, yeah, the two beds yeah. are one for us. So, what would you like to do? We want to put an offer on the one bed. OK. And we're leaving it up to you as to what the <laughs> offer's going to be. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, um, no I'll pressure. play fast and loose with your cash. <laughs> uh, um, OK, the situation is, it's on the market at £435,000. Reading between the lines, and I tried to, you know, squeeze the agent for as much information as I could. He said it's going to go well north of four fifty. Of four fifty. So, you know, how much do you want it? Um, you need to come up with a figure where you're happy to pay it, but you're equally happy to, if somebody else pays more than your figure, then you're happy to go. You know what? We did our best, and we're not going to worry about it. We'd be really upset if we missed out to it, like, cos now we've got our heart set on it. I think we're really set on it, aren't we? Like... <sighs> would you say it's sensible to go into 60s, like 61? I, I would hate to see you miss out on it. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think if you put 462 in, then... If somebody else paid more than that, well, let them. Yeah. You might as well pay the extra 40 and have a two bed. Yeah. Mm. I am happy to do that price. We did always say that, like, if we're 100% behind it, we even said we'll go to our budget of 500. Obviously, it's not going to go to that, but. Yeah. I'm happy with 462. You? Should it be like 462, 739 or something? <laughs> Yeah. 462, 300. Yeah. As it's sealed bids, there'll be no negotiations. All we can do is put in their best offer. So if you're happy with that, we'll draft up a letter. Yeah. All your information, and at 12 o'clock, at exactly 12 o'clock, um, we'll submit the bid. It's a sensible offer for a really strong flat. Once the bid's in, it's a waiting game. Two months later, and Charlie's made some decisions. One of which is that the renovated flat in Addiscombe is just a little too pricey. But she was tempted by the cracking investment opportunity of the three-bedder in West Croydon. I did go for a walk around the area afterwards, being that most of my friends are more based towards South Croydon. Again, it's just that little bit too far over. Still living in her parents' home with her sister, Charlie hasn't taken her foot off the pedal with the house hunt. Ringing up all the estate agents again on property websites. It's definitely quite an active search and everyone's involved. Mum rings and says, have you seen this one? Have you seen that one? No one's letting me slack off just yet, so... <laughs> she may not have found her very own first home yet, but thinks she's one step closer to living that dream. Probably have to thank Kirsty in terms of, of really highlighting that it is location, location, location. It is the most, that is the most important thing for me. Fingers crossed. The perfect flat or house, it's just around the corner. And now she has a firm grasp of the market. I don't think Charlie will be living with mum and dad for much longer. Over in Brixton, Cleo and Ben didn't have an easy ride trying to secure the Swish One Bedder they offered just over £462,000 for. It obviously wasn't high enough because we got pipped to it. I say pipped, it was actually by quite a lot. Yeah. We found out that it went for just below 500 k so it's about 60 k over the asking price. And that was more than they wanted to pay for a one bed. So Cleo and Ben walked away without regret. Well, we quickly forgot about that one, didn't we? 
yeah. and then turned our attentions towards the two beds, which was the last one we saw. And we just thought, actually, this place is ticking all our boxes. Period property, living space, great kitchen, all the light. Mm. It's got everything we yeah. wanted for. Yeah. We rushed to it, didn't we? We put yeah. an offering first thing on Saturday morning. Yeah. Fresh to the market in their ideal part of Brixton, they decided to offer full asking price and their top budget of 500 grand. After an agonising weekend wait, it was accepted. And two months later, it's move-in day. And we're absolutely rammed. Stressed, ridiculous. <laughs> Our whole lives are in boxes all around us. And they do own a share of the front garden, a lush luxury in this part of town. And Ben's priority is out here rather than unpacking boxes. I'm like, sort out our living space first. Here's where we're going to be. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's been a turbulent time, but at long last, these childhood sweethearts own their first home together. The journey um, to get here was definitely all worth it in the end. We wouldn't have been able to find this place. I mean, no other viewers were allowed in at all, um, and Phil managed to get us in. Well, that's all part of the service. I'm just thrilled to see how well it's all worked out for them.